So my name is Lori Lafrano. I am the child support liaison for the Minnesota Department of Corrections. I hear a lot of misinformation as it relates to paternity and as it relates to child support. Some of the things I hear are that I signed the birth certificate at the hospital, or because I pay child support, I have the right to have parenting time with my child. I have a right to see my child or take my child whenever I want. I'm hoping that during this curriculum, during this series that you're about to watch, that you'll come to understand how the laws really work and how the process works. Paternity is about the father's legal rights. And then parentage is a more inclusive, gender neutral term that can also include LGBTQ plus families. Parentage is broader in same sex couples. Given the fact that laws are evolving and changing, it's helpful if parents get legal advice. To be a legal parent. So that means that by law, you've been established the father of a child. That can happen in a couple different ways in the state of Minnesota. If a child's born during a marriage, the husband is presumed by law to be the legal father of a child. If the mother is unmarried at the time of the birth of a child, then paternity needs to be established. And that can be done in a variety of ways. So the two different ways that a couple who is not married can establish paternity would be one, by signing what's called the recognition of parentage. Usually it's signed at the hospital, um, but oftentimes it can be signed um, anytime really before the child turns 18. The other way is through a court order, and that would be the court adjudicating those two people, the parents, legal parents of a child. So a genetic test is taking DNA from the alleged father and the mother and the child. It determines if that alleged father is the biological father of the child. And so you're going to get a 99% chance that that person is the biological parent of the child or a 0%. So genetic tests in and of itself is not an establishment of paternity. Genetic test is evidence to use to establish paternity. And that's often a myth that I hear with folks that I work with. They think that if genetic tests come back at 99% that they're the biological father, that then they're the legal father. And that's not the case. Again, it doesn't establish paternity, it's evidence to establish paternity. There are many benefits to a child by having a legal father. Not only does it put the father on the birth certificate, it protects the child as far as social security benefits, survivor benefits, access to medical records. It's a basis for a child support order, tribal benefits, uh, inheritance rights, cultural inheritance, the social and emotional aspect of having a legal parent. So many benefits to the child. If someone thinks that they may be a father uh, to a child and paternity has not been established, they may want to reach out to their local child support office to get information or reach out to a private attorney. There are two ways to establish paternity. One is the voluntary form called the recognition of parentage. The other is by going to court and getting a court order that would indicate who the legal parents are. The big difference between the two is that the recognition of parentage does not give the father custody and parenting time. So there are some resources out there, probably not as many as I would love to be able to tell you, but your local child support office, again, is a great source of information on the process of establishing paternity. The state office of child support would also be an avenue um, that you could get information from. Again, it's a legal action, and so your best bet is to be able to talk to a, an attorney about how the process works and what your rights are through that process.